How do you learn who you really are? It's not found in books. It's found on the battlefield. So we're on, again, Battlefield of the Mind. Uh, welcome back. My name is Rick, and I'm blessed today to be with Danny Morrell. I don't have to do any big intros because you probably already subscribed to them. But in any case, Danny, just in case I got people who do live under a rock, do the best intro you got for yourself, and then let's kill some things together. Man, I'm just the guy that uh, wants to help people return to their hearts live the best life they possibly can, understands how to get that. And what I mean by best life possible, I mean financial freedom, uh, physical strength, health, longevity, well-being, loving, passionate, connected relationships, um, uh, financial abundance, and spiritual connection, which is the exact opposite of the way that human beings are living in the world. And they have no idea how to get to that state. And all we do is help them to return mm-hmm. to that state. That's that's my life's purpose. I like, I like that you added the spirit element into it because the most common pillars is the health, wealth, love, happiness. You know, I've heard that since freaking Ty mm-hmm. Lopez. Like you just people throw it out. Health, wealth, love, happiness, four pillars. And you took your happiness and you said, no, no, that's that's actually mind, body, spirit, and then there's going to be the heart element to it. You, you got to throw the spirit in there. And I think people are denying the, the soul element of our existence. And so go hard on it. Well, that's the whole, that's, they're denying their entire part, which by the way, Rick, if you could turn up your mic a little bit more so we could hear you How's a that? little bit better. But when you, when you deny the soul element, you, you, you don't understand anything about life, what you are, who you are, God, Um, we can get into that. Um, so yeah, it's because people are trapped living in the mind. People are trapped living in the state of fear. People are completely disconnected from their hearts, from their souls. And as a result, they don't know how to change their lives. They look on Instagram, they look on podcasts and all they see is other people who are only connected to their minds people that are telling them they have to work harder and and go after it and stay motivated and you know run 80,000 miles a week and which which is great my question is what are you running from my my question is if you're out there going harder every day of your life then what is it that you're running away from why must you go harder right what 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 is the problem with being still Right. And and quite frankly, when you're still, are you still enough to enjoy life in the present moment? And are you giving yourself enough opportunity to enjoy life with the people that you love? Because I've been there, Rick. I I, I was that guy. I was that guy that woke up at four o'clock every morning, got to the gym at four thirty every morning, worked 70 hours a week, made millions of dollars, but was 65, 70 pounds overweight, was absolutely miserable in my relationship, disconnected from my children, but I, but I made money. So I was doing what the world was telling me to do, right? I, I, I took the Instagram private jet picture, right? I had the $10,000 leather bag, right? I had the custom suit. I had the gold Rolex, miserable, disconnected with no idea Mm-hmm. Who I was. People are trying to find happiness through the superficial. Fair or not fair? Well, the world is built mm-hmm. that way. You know, and Rick, if I could turn you up a little bit more, that would actually. Yeah, my uh, stuff is booming over here. So I don't know what where the thing is. I'm off the charts on my thing. Yeah, yeah. People are trying to find happiness in the superficial first and foremost because people constantly live in a state of fear. So when human beings live in a state of fear, they cannot live in a state of love. When you live in a state of love, what you are actually living in is is a state of acceptance, a state of personal acceptance, a state of acceptance with life, a state of acceptance with everything that has happened in your past, a state of acceptance and healing with your mother and father And when you can arrive there, then you live in a state of acceptance with source. You tap into the spirit world and you're backed by your ancestors, your angels. So you're no longer living life alone and you're no longer living life disconnected. Now, why is that so important? 
Because if you look around, all of humanity is disconnected. Every man out there has been told that the way they get reconnected is to find acceptance, love, and value on the outside. So men are out there, you know, I mean, let me speak frank. They're either focused on their bodies, nothing wrong with health, focused on the way your body looks is a little different. And then utilizing that body to get attention and acknowledgement from other people, right? Then you're not doing that for health. You're doing that for outer acceptance and validation. Mind you, then the 3D world will happily tell you that you have to take human growth hormone, testosterone, steroids, all of that stuff when the human body can, can produce all of that for you. So, that, so that's, that's one mm-hmm. avenue. The second avenue is, you know, you have to be successful and powerful and you, 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 you gotta go out there and grind to make it happen. You know, what, what, what human beings don't realize is that they're operating from force. And so when you operate from force, the soul cannot be at ease. The soul cannot be happy. The soul cannot be at peace. So the soul knows something is wrong. Something is wrong. Life shouldn't be this hard, right? Like I shouldn't have to work so hard for everything that I want, right? And this is where we start talking about the feminine because the feminine allows, the feminine receives, right? So we have a whole bunch of men out there that, and and by the way, fellas, if you're out there listening, this was me. This is the only way that I could speak on it and identify it that are out there working their tails off, right? They're avoiding being home because they're avoiding being with their wives because they are disconnected from the frequency and and energy of love. So they cannot give love or receive love. That's why they're never at the house. Problem. The soul knows something is off. So when the soul knows something is off, in comes stress. In comes disconnection, in comes the body, and the body cannot be at rest or cannot be at peace. In comes the hips, the shoulders, the tightness all around the body, the the constant stress, enter illness. And once illness enters, enter disease. Why do you think the world is so afraid? Why do you think the world is getting so sick? Why do you think that we're dying at such a young age? Why do you think that we're dealing with things that we shouldn't be dealing with, like cancer and all of this stuff? The body is, the the, the body can take care of anything. You can heal and transform anything in your life when you're connected within. Let's go to women. Women, their strength, the masculine, the the, the strength of the mind is is here. It's it's the, the man, the masculine is the visionary, by the way before everyone and their mother gets mad at the word masculine and feminine, I just want you to know if anything is showing up inside of you when I say those words, it's because there's a deep disconnection within you with your very own masculine and feminine. It's because there's a part of you that doesn't feel safe within you, that doesn't feel powerful within you, that It doesn't feel held and grounded within yourself, right? Because when you are powerful, nothing bothers you. Nothing outside of you can control you. Nothing outside of you can manipulate you. Nothing outside of you can move you. Nothing outside can trigger you. You're just, you're just, you're like a tree. The wind could be as, as, as windy as possible, right? If the tree doesn't have a solid foundation, that tree is going to fall over. But if the tree is solid, the, the wind, no, come on now. No, no. The cold, come on, come on now. Relax. I love that you, you explain and that's this way. The human, being, the human being in their power, nothing outside of them bothers them. So so give me a You got me on a roll. So now let me oh, yeah. get on a roll. I've got your rolls. I'm, I'm right in the roll. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So now, so now we have women, right? And our women are completely, utterly, I'm talking 90% of all, they're disconnected from their womb, 
from their heart, from their inner strength, their glory, their power. So they're being made to believe that in order to be successful, right, they have to go create businesses like men. They have to go grind and work hard. And I'm telling you this right now, the most powerful women on earth the women that are truly connected to their femininity, they literally, listen to me carefully. My wife does this. My wife to me, to be does this. My, my friends that work with me do this. They literally sit and just money just shows up. Because that's the feminine. That's the feminine, right? So when the woman also is disconnected from her truth, Guess what happens? The woman utilizes her body the same way that the man utilizes his body. The man, the women, they utilize their, please accept me, please love me, please see me for my boobs, for my mouth, for my ass. Right, Because the 3D world shows us that life is on the outside. Right, So I say this with all love. I, I don't judge. I don't, no, 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 no. But what I am saying, if every bit of the value that you bring to the world is focused on what's outside of you, then you cannot possibly be connected to the truth of what is inside of you. If the value that you are providing to humanity and to planet Earth is an image of your outside, let me let you know that outside is going to fade one day and you are in for a terrible, terrible reckoning with yourself, with God, with life, right? If the value you bring to the world is in your body, then you are going to continue attracting human beings that only value you for your body. I don't give a damn how beautiful you are. Look at all of our celebrities and supermodels. They can't keep a relationship if their life depended on it. You could have the most beautiful breasts, the tiniest waist, the perkiest ass. Mm -mm. If you, in your energy, believe that that is the value of your life, guess what that energy will draw in? That energy will draw in a man that values you only for those breasts and that ass. And as soon as he gets you, he's out finding somebody else based off of their breasts and their ass. You are literally creating your life and you're creating it not from love, but from fear. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Warrior, thank you so much for being a part of the information that we have. And you're part of our story as we are a part of yours. It's very much an honor to be able to connect with each other. If you want to know more or you want to get started with working with me or working with our warriors so that you can begin your path to authenticity, strength, leadership, and accountability, this is the way. Together, we are way stronger. Now you get to choose. Do you go forward or keep doing what you've always done? If you stay where you're at, hey, click on some of the stuff and follow what it is. We got motivational stuff. We've got podcasts. We've got more things. Just subscribe and do the stuff and we'll keep you updated. But if you want to start going in, start jumping into what our programs offer and start your journey and being the hero in your own story. Powerful rant. Smash, Danny. Let's go ahead and crush some shit together. Because you just stack we stack the deck. Let's go ahead and take some pieces apart. Let's do some of the, the naughty words first. Let's get it out of the way. You said some bad words in here. Now, I want to break down fear. I want to break down love. But you said a bad word in the middle of this. You said truth. What's the bad you word said that truth. I said? You, truth. I said what? The truth. Truth. Ooh. No, no, no. We don't oh, want accountability. No, no, no. no. Because truth, Authenticity. No, no, no. Because truth confronts Ooh. you. Truth challenges yeah. you. Truth may lead you to not be uh, 
accepted by society, oh, wow. right? Truth could put you into that space where you've got to make a choice, where you've got to make a choice about what matters most to you, what you believe, what you've been told to believe, what other people think of you, or listen carefully, what you know within your heart. Yeah, well, well, we can't do it. Here's here's the thing I've noticed. You're not wrong with the 90 plus on the, the body element, but there's a 100 piece that I've run into whenever I've worked with all women. The hardest bastard to beat when it comes to this grieving cycle you're talking about, fear is an element of the enemy within, but if you're going through grief, you've got denial, bargaining, anger, sadness. These are the elements that you're trying to get to at the acceptance piece of things. And people don't understand acceptance is a skill. You're not just born. It's a skill that we can practice. That's right. In which case, right. the hardest one that I've noticed for women and women, I haven't seen one yet. I haven't worked with a woman yet that the core piece of her protection system is not denial. The entire system that she operates under is going to be a false persona. It's going to be makeup. It's going to be accentuating. It's going to be external because burden of beauty still falls on ladies. This means in yeah. order for you to be accepted, approved of, which is one of the women's main needs, is going to be, I need to be a part of the group. I need to be, it takes a village. I need to be involved. I can't be exiled. I can't be not invited. I can't be not included. I need to be what you say I need to be. So I am okay. In which case, authenticity, right. bad word. If we get to accountability, yeah, you can't bad word. Truth. Yep. Oh, you will expose that I do not belong with the group. Bad word. That's right. That's right. Can I, can, Rick, can I tell you where I came face to face with it. truth? Where, where my life changed forever. My life changed forever in the moment that I had to face my deepest truth. And that is that I was in a trap that society creates for us and religion grains in us called marriage. Hang on, let me explain. I'm not saying marriage is bad. I'm about to get married. What I'm saying is I had to face the truth that I was unhappy in my marriage and that I was in a cage. I was so unhappy in my marriage that when 10 years came around, I lived in California, right? And if and if you if it's past 10 years, forget about it. You as a man, you're fucked. Like they're they're you know, not that it was an issue. She got half of everything. No problem. Um, I, I, I honor, you know, my, my, my role to this day as a provider. She's got nothing to worry about. She makes more money than most, than most men that I do that I know, you know, all good, no problem. But I had to come face to face with the truth. And this is where religion has its grips on people. I sat there in front of my pastor with a genuine open heart, a genuine heart that wanted to like fix whatever demon was inside of me, whatever sin was inside of me that made me ask the question, but what about my happiness? You, you don't want to ask that. That's, that's the scariest thing that you could ever ask. Okay. That's the scariest thing that you could ever ask, right? Because there's truth behind that question. So human bo beings avoid asking that question, right? I had the courage to ask that question. And when I had the courage to ask that question, that's when everything started to fall apart. So listen, being a, a good, honorable, religious boy, I know what the book says. The book says you cannot get divorced. Because if you do, you're going to go to hell, which we obviously know there's no such thing. But, but you know, when you're a good religious boy, no, 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 no. I, I want to do what I need to do to stay accepted in that community, right? So then I was trying, and I remember meeting with my, my, my pastor. I remember, I remember the park. I remember the table I sat at. You know, I got the, the, this was the biggest church in Rancho Cucamonga, California. I got to meet with him one-on-one -on -one because I made a lot of money. <laughs> there's, there's a little truth. 
So when you make a lot of money, you tithe more money. So you, you, you are elevated, right? Separation, right? So I met with him and, you know, he would tell me things like, you know, son, you signed a contract. You have to honor it. Fuck. He's, he's, he's right. Ooh, but what about what I feel? But what about what I feel? I honor my contract no matter how I feel. So you have to do the same thing. Fuck, he's right. He's, he's right. But what? But but it doesn't feel right. But he's but he's right because he's he's the man. I'm down here, and he's up there. He's connected to this thing called God. I'm I'm little. He's small. I am subservient. He is powerful. Weeks go by, and I'm finally like, I I I don't I I I can't I can't. I, so then we go, of course, because because I make money, we get the meeting. Right. Everybody else gets the meeting with the other five pastors, not us. We make money. We. We, we break off the money to the church, right? And everybody else doesn't is not able to. So we get the meeting at the table, right? And I, Rick, I promise you, I am genuinely from my heart. Like, please heal me. Please heal this thing inside of me that has me worried about if I'm happy or not. Because this is driving me crazy. Because I want to do the right thing. I want to be a good boy. And he's flipping through the Bible. He's like, you can't get divorced because of this. 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 And you can't, and, and, and literally, Rick, I was just, I'm not, I wasn't even combative. I was genuinely like, oh, okay, okay, but but what about how I feel? But but what about my heart? What about if I cannot give? This woman, the love that she deserves. And, wh- and what, are, what are my children going to think and feel if they watch this? Right? Right? And by the way, I'm open, you know, for everybody listening, go to counseling. Go to therapy. Work on it. Because now we, we're able to save a lot of relationships I just knew mine, that wasn't my journey. I knew, I tried everything. Rick, at the very end, Rick, I shit you not. I want every human being, listen to me. I want want all of you, listen to me right now. I'm speaking truth into your life, right? This is when you break the gates of hell fucking wide open. This This is when you disconnect yourself from the matrix. He looked at me. I drew in the perfect, my soul called in the perfect thing for him to say. He had ran out of everything. So he throws this one at me. He says, he says, son, you know, all that money you make, you know, all the blessings in your life, you know, that big house you have. I say, yeah, pastor. Yeah. He says, if you make this decision, all the influence you have, He says, if you make this decision, God will remove all blessings on your life forever. Sit with that. Sit sit with that. I see what it is. In that moment, you realized it wasn't God talking. That, That listen to me. That was the moment I said choice was free will was always there, but you realized, wait, you're not God. That, and by the way, you have zero connection to God. Yes. Zero. Zero. Because if you did, if you did, you would have never used those Correct. words. Those words are not no. love. Love is God. God is love. Love is the heart. Love is within. Jesus said, seek the kingdom within. I looked at that man. I didn't say anything. I just said, holy shit. This dude is miserable in life. 
He has no idea what love is. And he is trying to project his misery onto me using the frequency that this whole thing is guilt and fear. And in that moment, you know what I said, Rick? I said the following. I said, I don't know what love is. I don't know what truth is. I don't know. I don't know what awaits me, but I will live in a cardboard box broke for the rest of my life. But that shit is not going to control me. Found your warrior. It, it, it pulled your warrior out. You were sitting there trying to kneel to the authority of somebody else's judgments and opinions until you said, wait, I will fight you. I am not going to sit on my knees while you berate and put me down and tell me what I should and shouldn't be. I am going to fight for what I believe is right. And I will follow my soul and follow my heart. And just because there's a, a brother a church symbol in the front, making you a, a symbol of authority doesn't mean that you are God or you are right. No, brother, you know what it is? I'm going to be honest. It was like the greatest leap of faith in my oh, life. Got him, man. Because you know what it was, Rick? I didn't even know what to believe. When, when you were whole, Rick, I was that kid that didn't have sex because it was sure. a sin. Judgment. You can't have sex. So you're, you're secretly, as a man, jacking off, looking right. at porn, right? This is why the priests do what they do. Because I was that kid. No, 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 no. How could the very thing that creates your life be a sin? So, 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 so let me ask you this question. So you mean to tell me, you mean, listen to how sick this is. Sick. You mean to tell me that you're going to wait till you get married, till, ha till you have sex. I'm speaking some truth here. I'm speaking some truth here. You mean to tell me you're going to wait till you get married to have sex. And what if, can I be raw and real here, please. Rick? Can, can I be raw and real here? Right? Can, can I be? Can, can, can I just have permission to speak real human you don't need shit here? For that. What, what if you like your wife to swallow? Fucking love it. What, what if you like that? What if that brings you pleasure and you find out the day after you get married, that's one of the things she will never do? Are you, are you fucked for the rest of your life? Don't you think you, you should have known that before? What if you like it and you like it a little kinky? You, you, you like to be adventurous. And the day after you, you spend all the money, the wedding, everybody's there. They're all looking at you. And the day after you find out, oh, she just, or he just, what if you're a woman? What if you're a woman and you, and you like your man to take it to you? You, 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 you like your man to drop the hammer. You want to be in complete submission. And he's right. And you want him, you, you like him to last for hours. And he comes in and two passive. minutes. Well, because he's not connected to his masculine, to his power, his strength. What, what then for the rest of your life? That, my friend, is called misery. Misery. It's interesting you're putting these perspectives out there because we have to be able to say truth. And if anybody's getting offended by this, you're I, I, I agree completely. You're revealing you to yourself is what we're doing the entire time. If you got triggered by that, you found something in you. If you're angry or you're disappointed, there something there's something in you, in you you're finding. That's you're, right. You should be paying attention right That's now. Right. Absolutely. Not mad at Danny, Absolutely. not mad at me, because I'm agreeing highly. You're supposed to do things. I think you find God from fucking up. I think that's where you're supposed to do. People think you're supposed to do everything the church says, everything your parents say. You find God through yeah. failure. Why do you think free will is the game? He doesn't want you to be perfect. He wants you to fail into him. You find God through questioning. Well, you fail it. Go, for, go. We... You find God through challenging. Correct. Rick, Rick, listen to this, Rick. The, the true story. I, I read two things, two things. No, no, number one, like I have always found it pretty easy to make money. That's That doesn't make me better than anybody, by the way. On the contrary, this is why in my frequency, people just start making money. My, I have a trainer right now. He just started training me. 
It just started. My last trainer, literally within three months, the dude 10x his income. Just because he would ask me questions, my, my vibration helps people change their life. Any human being can do this. This is what we're supposed to do. When we're in our power, we help other human beings, right? So, so I, I, was the, I was the kid that at 20 years old, I was driving a 7 Series BMW. Forgive me, 21, 22 maybe, right? Um, I was at that time, 22 years old, making half a million bucks a year. No problem. Um, I had my own house. Um, I even had a, a big Harley, like I had all the, the stuff. Right. And, and I remember I would walk up, but I was also the kid. I was also the kid that at 17, 18 was living on welfare, debt broke in a two bedroom apartment. Right. So I, I know, I know the journey to get you out of poverty and I know the journey to get you into abundance. It's a frequency. You learn the frequency, you change your life. It's, it's simple. Not easy, but it's simple, right? So, Rick, I, I used to walk down a neighborhood, true story, and I just used to play games with myself. Games like I would go to the top of the mountain in my neighborhood where all the mansions were, and I was like, you know what? In 24 months, I'm going to live there. Th th Rick, this is me. This is a brown boy. You understand what I'm telling you? This is a, a brown boy that shouldn't be living in those neighborhoods because the only brown people that go in those neighborhoods are the lawnmower people. You, I'm just speaking truth, right? And 24 months later, I'd be in the neighborhood. 24 months later, at 24, 25 years old, I would open the doors and the people would walk up and say, hey, are, are, your, are your parents here? They would think I was like the servant or some shit. <laughs> True story, Right? And you know what? I, I used to think, wow, I did this. I created this. I created this. And then I would go to church and people would go, man, God has blessed you. And you know what I would think? I would think, whoa, but wasn't I the one who did this? And then I, and then fear, fear would strike and go, no, no, no. You can't think then. You see? So I would start to question. I remember I used to have a friend. His name was Shaddy. Um, and Shadi was um, a Muslim, right? And I would go, I was so arrogant and so in my ego and so in belief that I would basically think my friend was going to go to hell because he didn't believe what I believed basically, right? So I, I would, I would like try to save him because it was my job to save everybody, right? And I, I used to think to myself, wait a minute. But what if Shadi was born like in the mountains of Afghanistan or something and he never heard what, what I heard? Does that mean he's going to go to hell? And then like, listen, my heart would say, that doesn't make any sense. But then my mind would go, uh, -uh you can't think that. You can't think that because that's not what you're being told. You see, I started to question. I started to question. I had the courage to question. And that's where everything changed. It's a lot of correlations you're putting together here, and it's tough. Here's the hard part, I think, with the way that things that you say come out, is you tell the correct answers, but people don't understand the answers are not the solutions. And that makes it difficult to understand because your conclusions are correct, but there's a gap. And that's why I think, uh, even when I watch what you're saying and, and watch what you've said, if you've done the work, you're right. But if you haven't done the work, it's uh, it's like, Danny, you have to get to the other side of the river. You're on this side and the other side is abundance. And you're like, I would love to be on the other side of the river. And you're like, so just know that's where you need to be. And you're like, cool. Um, I still don't know how to get across this. Do I build a bridge? Do I need a boat? Do I make a raft? Do I get friends? What do I do? And uh, people have seen this before. Here's what we're doing. <clears throat> do you know what this is? That's a Rubik's right, Cube. Solve Rubik's Cube. All the colors on each side are all together, right? I know the answer. Yeah. You need to f fight fear. You need to have love. You need to lower stress. You need to accept truth. You need to go through grief. You need to find your frequency. I know all the I know what it's supposed to be. Mine looks right. like this. Mine's all fucked up. But also, though, I saw a guru. And a guru is like, greens are the way. 
greens. I will help you get the greens. I am an expert in body or money or something. I have the greens. I'll get you your greens. You're like, oh, that's one of the sides of the cube. But the rest of their cube, fucked. The rest of their shit's fucked. It's not solved. And yet I will get you greens pay for my program, buy my thing, get this potion or tonic, buy these potions and, and these, these, uh, the stress tonic, whatever it's, yeah. it doesn't matter what it is. The answer is not the solution. Cause you don't know how to solve your cube yet. You just know it's supposed to be that you're supposed to be in love. You're supposed to manifest in a certain way. You're supposed to not have fear. You're supposed to challenge everything. The answers are not the solution. It doesn't tell me a single skill to practice. I don't know what to do yet. You're right. You're not wrong. I've done the work. I know that you are correct, but we still have, there's no bridge, there's no boat, and there's no way across it. I don't know how to do it yet. So, so I love what you're saying. And th- and I, and I, I want to speak to this. This is very, very important. Every human being listening to me has the potential and the ability to go within themselves and start the healing journey. It starts with just becoming aware. It starts with becoming aware of what your limiting beliefs are. And you have to become aware of what is separating you from everybody else. There's a security protocol, Danny. The security system that people have created through grief, through trauma, through pain, and through loss has made it so the questions cannot be put up there. Remember, the truth things, the denial is in the way. It's not that the answer isn't within. It's the protocols and security that I've made. It doesn't allow me to go with it. My own thing. I know. I, the security self. is to keep right. me out, not you out. I need a hacker. I need somebody who yeah, can yeah, ask yeah. the right questions. I don't know what to ask because it's built to keep me out. Can I give you the solution? It's going to sound wrong, but I'm just going to tell you this from my heart. That that That's why I made Awaken. This is why I build my programs. You need a hacker. That's right. You that's need why someone I, to break the safe. Yeah. You need someone to help you hack Correct. the system. This is why when people come to, and and I want to speak to this, this is so important. I am, I am what I'm about to say. I know what it is to be that guy. I know what it is to be the guy by my program, by my system. And I know what it is to be that guy that deep inside of myself said, my voice said, I'm doing this for you. But within myself, I was really doing it for me. I know what it is to be that man. And I'm going to tell you what happened. What I realized is that deep in my heart, there was a disconnection from the frequency of love. So I needed people's validation, admiration, and respect. I needed people to need me because that's what caused me to feel loved within. Quite frankly, Rick, I'm going to be honest with you. I needed to be famous. Like my whole goal in life was always to be famous. Why do you need to be famous? What does it do? Well, the more fame you get, the more energy you get, the more attention you get. Quite frankly, the more that you avoid your truth. Maybe maybe that is your truth. The the more that you avoid going within yourself because all of your energy is put outside of you. And then something happened. I read the book, uh, A New Earth. Right by Eckhart Tolle, which everyone, everyone needs, to, read needs to read The Power of Now, and everyone needs to read A New Earth, right? It's a great place to start, right? And I remember coming home from my walk, and I had done an, some, some work. I had did a, a, some journeys, right? And I remember sitting there going, oh, my God, I don't really care if I'm famous anymore. Now, listen, Rick, listen, this is some scary shit. When the very thing you have wanted your entire life, you no longer want, get ready because Pandora's box is about to open. Rick, I went, I fell to my knees in that moment. I started hyperventilating, ventilating. Literally, this energy was leaving me because I started to ask, well, then what do I want? Well, well, wait a minute. It's like the thing, the thing that you've wanted your whole life, you no longer want, 
then what is life? Literally, what is life? Who are you, right? And I, Rick, I thought I was going to die. Mm-hmm. And, and, in, and in many ways, I did die. The old me died. And this is the scary part of the journey is that most people don't realize is to enter love, the fear in you has to die, right? And this is why you need people, forgive me, but this is why you, this is why, you, this is why I created Awaken, brother, because like, I just realized, like, I, I just, I just thought to myself, if I was that jacked up, what about the rest of planet? Who are they following? Yeah. Oh my God. Right. And this is where, like, by the end of day three of Awaken, we have dealt with the mother wound. We have dealt with the father wound. We have dealt with sexual trauma. And people literally go through a beautiful process. It's a metamorphosis, it's a self actualization. Mm-hmm. And, well, this uh, is where the awareness of those yeah. things you went, there's things that I don't, again, the way you speak, I've done the journey. So I know what you're talking about, but the answer still isn't a solution. This is where we, well, you need us. You need to work in with somebody who's actually walked the damn path. I hear you. Can I, can I, can I, can I say something real fast? And there's a, there's a part of me that hates saying like, you need us. But the truth is like, I wouldn't be where I'm at if 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 I didn't go find people to help me. Like no one is gonna go. Like the, the disconnecting of the cord. It's it's a process, and you need people who have been through that process to help you pull out the right. damn cord. When you're talking to people, you should be challenging your mentors. You should, and this is the, this is a reality to it. And when should. you have people who can't be challenged. Pay attention whenever you're looking for your guide. Is it information or transformation? That's it. That's it. And what? And pay attention. This is very important. Please listen to me because everybody is so consumed with who they're following. Having followers does not make you no. real. Having followers, having a lot of money does not mean you're connected to your mm-hmm. heart. Calling yourself a healer does not mean you're healed. As a matter of fact, I'm telling you right now, if you on your profile call yourself a healer, keep going. There's more to heal because you're labeling yourself. You have used a label to get people to give you attention because the reality is, is that when you get to love, there are no more labels. You would feel like an idiot calling yourself a healer or calling yourself anything. I don't know what I am. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy that went through his, his, his butthole literally opening with fucking energy because his root chakra was closed his entire Mm -hmm. life. I'm just a guy who literally went through the most massive ego death. Of, of forgiving my father and pulling his name out of the pit into my, out of my, I, and just leaving it all on the line. I, 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 I'm just the guy that realized that we as human beings don't have barriers. There are no barriers in life, but human beings have created barriers. So I, so I, in front of a room of 40 people, took off all my clothes, stripped butt naked because I had body dysmorphia my entire damn life. I'm just a guy, I'm just a guy that went face to face with my greatest fears when it came to money, when it came to love, when it came to my body, when it came to relationships. I'm just a guy that attracted the perfect partner, a partner that was taller than me, a partner that was younger than me. I know all of you guys don't like that part. A partner that I looked at as the most beautiful woman on earth. A partner that is so deeply grounded. She doesn't need me or need you or need anything, right? A partner that made me come face to face with the fact that I could finally be loved for me. When I was fat, when I was bloated, when I wasn't happy, when I was ripped, when I was rich, when I was poor, she didn't give a shit about any of that. Do, 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 do you understand how deep that is? Do you, do you understand the walls that have to be broken down to make you come face to face with the reality that someone actually loves you for you? 
You're you're speaking warrior talk at the moment, and this is where people are not challenging and not doing the work. You're speaking as a warrior to a warrior. I know what you are saying. I f- I know you know. I feel. I have it. been through hell. I go into hell every day to come and get people. I know where you've been. I've been there. I know where that is. I go and get people all the time. When people do, it's different than what they read or what they heard or what they say. And it is different. And this is why I say challenge everything. What makes you qualified, Danny? Well, because I fought out of hell. I didn't read a book about hell. I was there. No, I didn't read a book. That's right. I didn't. I fought my way out of hell. I'm telling you right now, Rick, I stay quiet. I stay quiet. But 90%, 95% of who the world Correct. thinks is a healer or a motivator or whatever, if, 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 I, if, if, if I shut the door, if I shut mm-hmm. the door, right, and, and we went like in, it. they would crumble and they don't weep like because they're so fucking afraid of the right. truth. All of the coloring of the hair, all of the needles, all of the the, the fake, it's a sign. It's a sign that you haven't accepted yourself for who you are. It's a sign that you haven't been naked with truth. All of the needing celebrities to come and sit with you and talk with you so that you feel cool because you're with the celebrity. I've been through all of it. And I know you have as well. And I'm, I'm going to go on record and say this. I'm going to go on record and say this. That prior to meeting you, there was only one other man, one other human being on planet Earth that I would tell my people, go listen to that man, because I know that that man has been through the great gates of hell and has found love. And that was Joe mm-hmm. Dispenza. That's it. That's it. I'll throw in Eckhart Tolle, right? That's it. That's it. That's where the list ends. And now I'll throw in yeah. you. I honor I honor you for this. Outside of that, listen to me, please. I don't give a damn how many followers, how many. As a matter of fact, if you look deeply, look closely, look, look feet. As a matter of fact, don't look. Close your eyes and feel. Feel. By the way, I say this. I know that I am... I'm in my energy right now. I wish I was speaking no, softer and more quiet, it. more it's loving. But it's just the fire is coming out of me because I'm passionate about this because the world needs yes. to awaken. Outside of that list, I am telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, they, they haven't been there. When you go to the conventions, you can tell. And you can see the ones who do. You know the ones who do and they don't. You know. And I love, I, I have you found know, the same thing true. when I go, how far have you got in your journey? And they don't want to even mention it. They don't want to go. What, what, what journey? What journey? I, 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 I fist to get some I'm here money. For the green. I, I fist to get some green followers. Side. Buy my program. Green. Buy for nine nine nine. Right. Find your purpose. Bullshit! You don't even know what the fuck no, life no, I is. I got the greens though. I got the greens though. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't check yeah, the rest exactly. of my cube. Don't look at the rest of my cube. I got green. Right. Forget no, about no, no. love, we forget about passion, room. forget no, no, about no, no. health, forget about spirituality, forget about your soul. No, 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 no. I'll show you how to Greens. make money, right? Because that's the operating system, the green of the money of Correct. the matrix, right? Challenge yeah. your gurus. You should. I honor you with this, Danny. And right. I, and Challenge your gurus. Challenge Absolutely. Your gurus. This man is speaking you should. true. Challenge you your gurus. And if anybody right? ever, like Ask your them. pastor, if anybody wants to push back on authority without answer or without explanation, this is not a guru. You are not talking to an authority. No, 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 no. When you challenge your people, challenge your yeah. pastors. The, 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 you, you. <laughs> the, day, the day that a pastor invites, it's not me. It's just the truth Bring within it. me. me I've, I've pictured this. Put 10,000 of the members there. We'll have a little talk. The church is closing. You will. I'm sorry. I have found the same with my church too. (laughs) My pastor is not my leader. And when I have given him opportunity, God has said, give him the chance. 
And I said, oh, you know what? I will serve. I have served my church. I'll be there for you. And as soon as I gave my pastor the chance, I watched him throw it in the garbage from ego, from he has to be the boss. Ego. He has to be the leader. And I'm like, I'm not boss. here for me. I'm here for you serving. And he threw it away because it would be in the way of his power. That's right. You see, listen to me, please. This is when you know truth. You know truth when they're willing to let it all Correct. die. At their perfect little picture, their perfect little image, right? You know truth when they are willing to face it and go, you know what? I have all of the, that. See, I just realized that was my moment yes. with the pastor. I said, I said, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm willing, I'm willing to live in a cardboard box, but this, I'm oh, out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going to tell you something, Rick, that's so beautiful. Pastors are starting to come to awaken. And you know what? At the end of day three, they shake my hand and they said, they say to me, thank you for the courage to speak the truth. And I just look them in the eye and I said, no, no. Thank you for the courage to receive it and be open Correct. to it. That's that's it. We talk That's about it. courage. It's a warrior word. Courage. Does it mean that it's something you're supposed to just win and it shouldn't be scary? No. It's supposed to be scary. That's why you need courage. It's, it's supposed to be scary. overwhelming. That's why you need courage. It's supposed to scare the shit out of you because the uncertainty is absolute. You're supposed to be worried. Good. That's the right. the That's circumstances right. do not define you. They reveal you to yourself. Truth right. is a very scary word today, not because of what is, but because of what people cannot handle what is. And this That's is right. where we are That's today. Right. Denial for both sides. Denial for women looks different for men. Men, it's pure suppression. Suppress your heart, suppress right. your feelings, suppress every, push it down, push it down. You do, your feelings do not matter. You cannot be authentic because if you are authentic, you are bad. And for women, if you That's are right. authentic, you will not fit in. You will not be approved of. You will not be accepted. You have to be what I tell you to be. Yeah, you have to be the women. You have to be. Let's on give the people a tool just so I can make sure I do the solution okay. and not just understand the answer. What is fear? Ask me What's fear? So I can know when it's there. How do I know it's fear? What does it do? So I can go, oh, there it is. What's fear? Fear is anything that stops you. Fear is anything that doesn't allow What about you. if I say, I don't fear believe is in myself? Is that fear? I don't. I'm not good enough. Is that fear? I, I, think, I think the fact that you're asking about believing, I think that that is fear because Believing is the mind. You want to get to a space of well, knowing. You want to get to a space a of knowing. How do I know which oh. one is doubt then? Feel. So then if I don't think I'm good enough, is it fear or is it doubt? I would challenge and say, why do you need to know which one it is? Just go within yourself. See, this, see, this is this is the issue, Rick. The issue is that we live so much in the it's mind. Good that we have to question and overanalyze everything. And the truth is, here's the truth. The truth is, is that the only way that you get to the answer is to let go of it. It's mind. a part of it. I think that there is a balance yourself. to all. And this is where I found there is no warrior that is stronger, heart side, spirit side, body side, mind side, each have merit, each have purpose. And so I, my challenge on it is not that you are only one, it is that you are balanced as one. And so if I am going to identify which enemy is attacking me, I have to know the difference between fear and doubt. It's just one. I have to know what a distraction is. I have to know what an excuse is. I have to be aware when I'm in denial. I have to be aware that I'm, I'm creating a bargaining system where I'm in my what ifs and it's not manifestation. I have to be aware when I'm fucking pissed off. And I have to be aware when I'm very, very sad. I have to know the difference between delusion and anxiety. If I do not... I don't know what I'm fighting. And so I can't feel my way through because feelings are chaotic. They change like the weather. It's hard to say. I'll be up one second, down another second so I can follow the map, but I have to Rick, know who I'm fighting. I'll give an example. Rick, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge this Please. a little bit. 
Um, because what I am seeing now is that even though we both got to the same place, way. I think we you got there correct. differently. We are, we are different. We are different warriors. You're talking spirit and heart, and I'm talking tactics and action. It is correct. I love. I love that. Yeah. And to be perfectly honest with you, I, I have never cared. Perfect. And but yeah, I, I honestly did. I just wanted the result, and I want to take people into the result. And what I know is that. The, 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 the opening, the awakening only happens when we get people out of here and opening. But, but you need the path. I still need the journey. I still need a bridge. And so you can still build a bridge to get well, to the other side. And this is where a tactic would come in. Well, there's so many, I mean, but there's so many Correct. bridges. Go hop in, a, in a, go hop in an ice bath for five Maybe. minutes. But let's go ahead and do a tactic. I'll show you. You, you challenge. I'll, 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 I'll receive. Okay. I mean, there's a. Tactic. I'll be with you. Okay. How do I challenge doubt, and how do I challenge fear to know they are different? Let's. I'll show you, and then you assess: is it valuable or not? This is me- measure up, or is it useful or not? All right. How do I know? Okay. I'm not good enough. This one, I would say, that is a doubt. This is not fear because fear would involve something from the future. And this is right now. I do not believe that my motivations, my systems that I can be something, do something, and it's accomplishable. I don't believe it. So my potential is now under attack here. I am not good enough. So the definition I have for doubt to say, how do I know which one it is, is that doubt offers nothing and takes from you everything. This is the way I know what it Hmm. is. So if someone says, you have a good idea? No, that's a stupid idea, Danny. That'll never work. Or like, you can't do that. Well, those aren't fear. Those are doubt. So I'm not afraid. It's just someone saying that's not possible. That's not a, that's not a fear. And so then I would have to know, well, if doubt offers nothing and takes everything, what are you offering me by saying I can't do that? What are you offering to say you're not good enough? Or that's a stupid idea. I've got to challenge the offer itself. Okay, let's weigh it out. You've got a dream, an idea, a vision, whatever it is. And it's going to make it so I can build something beautiful, potential, have fulfillment. I can create wealth and connection and help people and do something that finds my purpose. And it's got all of this ability to be something great or that'll never work. What's the offer? The offer is nothing. There is no offer. So then it comes to choice. Now I have to make a decision. Now this, you Mm -hmm. can't do it. That's not good enough or whatever. It could be your dad. It could be your mom. It could be your wife. It could be your best friend. What is the... You have the free will to choose If you do not understand there is a choice, you cannot make a decision you do not know exists. So I have to at least acknowledge that there is a battle in front of me right now. There is a choice that needs to be made. But if I try to handle doubt like fear... It will not work because it is a different conversation, in which case I will have to say, well, what is your offer? My potential, I see fulfillment and joy and love, connection and and purpose. I see the potential, but you offered nothing. It's not good enough. Now I have to choose. Do you have the courage to decline an offer even from someone you love? The offer is nothing. That's right. So which do you choose, potential or guaranteed nothing? Potential, right? It seems simple when you see it, but how many people have forfeited their dreams, their vision, their goals because of a judgment from another person that offered nothing? If I do not know this battle, I cannot fight it. But if I face fear, because fear is a potential future that may most likely never happen, different from danger. There are people in danger. It's like even in an abusive relationship is not the same as I'm afraid that I may fail. Those are not the same. And so knowing the difference of a potential future, which creates anxiety, is a very different thing than being worried about something that happened or not believing in myself. They're not the same fight because there's something that will or could happen that makes me terrified. This could go terribly wrong. They could all expose me. They could make fun of me. They could kick me out. They may, they may hate me. They may do something in the future that makes me worried. And so here I am having to know, is this fear or is it doubt? Well, if I know that you're trying to create a potential future that may make me feel or do or censor myself or shut myself down or do something different, well, what could happen and how I see myself are not necessarily the same thing. Because if I can see who I really am, these potential futures teach me things instead of me starting to self-censor for something that most likely will never happen. 
So then I would say, well, is there a tactic that can be involved with then applying the spirit element of know thyself and know who you are? So in the face of somebody saying you should give up, you should quit, or that's never going to work, or you're useless, or you're stupid, or you're whatever judgment somebody wants to use, knowing thyself makes it silly. It makes it so if I said, Danny Morrell, you are nine feet tall. Well, you smile because it's silly. I understand you're using feet as a measurement system. I understand that system. That system doesn't make sense. So you said something to me that is ridiculous. But if I said, you're stupid and nobody will ever listen to you, no smile this time. Because there was a part of me at a time that doubted myself. There was a part of me where I was like, why would somebody listen to me? And instead of having an answer to the question that was inspiring, I left it a rhetorical. I did not answer the question. What's the point of fucking trying, Danny? What's the fucking point, right? No, it's a good question. What is the point? What are you doing this for? What are you fighting for? What do you believe in? It's a good question. Did you answer or did you leave it unanswered? So then I would put on the table. I was like, well, having tactics, understanding and knowing which enemy that you're battling, is it useful or should I just be open and not have any armor, any shields or any understanding of what it is that I'm even up against right now? Because right now we are in a battle and the battle weapons that are used against our people we love and the people in your room and the people around us right now are blame, shame, judgment, guilt and using some form of this to oppress and have people censor themselves. Those are right in front of us. And if you have no armor, no defense, no shield, no training, you're taking them to the face. And me saying, I am open, and then just taking a direct shot, I would argue, armor side, warrior side, you do not have to take a hit to the face to be authentic. I can still dodge and be who I am. And I don't have to take it right to the chest in order for me to be authentic. It's unnecessary. That is yours, and I will leave it with you. I will decline your offer that you think this is stupid. I will decline your offer. I am not good enough. I will decline your offer because I understand you're using doubt and judgment against me. So I, in my authenticity, choose potential. And I choose myself, and I choose what I love because I've actually done the work to know. You cannot attack me with nothing. I had coffee with doubt this morning. He's hilarious. Cracks me up told me all the things that I can and can't do. Danny won't care what you say. You don't deserve to be uh, having this conversation. I said, what's your offer? I don't see one. So I'm going to decline that offer and go hang out with Danny. We'll see how it goes. (laughs) So this is where I say, is it only the one side? I do believe spirit and heart, people who do not understand this is powerful, especially for the guys who have repressed armored hearts, which is most. If you think heart side is weak side, you do not understand heart side. It is very fucking powerful. It is that fire in you. It is that passion in you. It's that when you are going, you're like, you can feel the fire burning. There is that in there. But don't think that being without tactic and without practical action that you are also going to be just fire your way through because fire burns. On one hand, you can cook. On the other hand, you can destroy. It is a tool or a weapon. So here we are. We're speaking warrior talk, but we're different warrior types. Both together are powerful. Both together. They they ask, who's the best coaches? Who's the best leaders? Who's the best thing? I said, all of us together. Try and fuck with both of us at the same time. We come from both sides. We're a yin-yang. Right now, this is something most people do not understand. Triple down on your strength. You are heart and spirit. I am mind and tactics and action. Together, together try and fuck around. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is where I think people finding themselves triple down on your strengths, be authentic for real, do the real work and face the scary words like truth, happiness. What the fuck is it, Danny? I want it. I'll go Socratic with you. Well, I want happiness. You said, what about my old marriage? I'm not happy. Well, how do I know? I don't even know what happiness means. Should I go with Arthur C. Brooks on happiness? I don't know if you saw Arthur. Arthur's going to either love me or fucking hate me. I don't care. Harvard professor. In which case, he says, what is happiness? Well, Danny, you know happiness. What's What's the definition of happiness? How do I know if I have it or not? How do I know? I want it. How do I know? Does anybody in the room know what happiness is so I can go ahead and do it? Because I'd love to know. 
and people have a different answer. Have you noticed everyone has a different answer for happiness? This requires yeah. us to understand it's a subjective ass word. You may love a, a walk on the beach and I may like, uh, you know, a mountain breeze with, with snow. Happiness is different. So what is happiness? Well, the answer for happiness, if you went into the let's go Harvard route with it, you have to have this subjective answer is going to be with uh, it's going to be with uh, satisfaction, enjoyment and purpose. I don't know if you noticed, but that's three more subjective words. <laughs> now I got four subjective words we all have different definitions for, and somehow we're supposed to have it, which is ironic because I know people who have no idea what the fuck that definition is. Who's happy, very happy. Yeah. So we have different terms for these things. I have a definition for these things. I got words that people think they know that they don't really know. What's respect? What's leadership? What's love? What's happiness? These are all words where we throw them around. I said, well, tell me what it is. Don't worry, I'll wait. Respect has stumped even the greatest minds I've run into. So these are what I'm saying is the solutions are not the answers. That's why I say it. I want that. I want that, Danny. I want what you have. I want it. But I have a gap. What am I missing? And this is why I do believe challenge, you, challenge us. I'm, I'm happy that you challenge me. I really am. Bottom of my heart, my soul of your soul, please, yes. Most don't have the courage to go. I don't know if that even makes sense, ma'am. Well, ask. So, I know I, I did my rant. Danny, we rant, bro. You and we, listen, we get fired. We got a thing. Absolutely. So, you're like, okay, can you use it? Can I use this, this battle against doubt? Is it practical? Is there a way I can use that now to say I am openly being myself and I am connected with oneself, but at least I know the difference between fear and doubt now? Useful or not yep. useful? Sure. You asking? Highly useful. useful. Together, we are stronger. Yep. This is why the selfish mentality of the world is fucking itself. We are never, ever, ever, ever going to be competition. No. People mix no. it up. They think we, because we're in the same sphere, we're well, enemies. Gotta, no, this I mean, is my, that's a brother. I would have his back. No, I'd no, give no. him anything. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, you have to. Um, it's so interesting because that was a big part of my journey is dealing with the energy of competition. Sure. Like, there's what did you find? Um, it, I found that it was, um, it was me with me. It was a deep insecurity within myself. It was, it was a void that I couldn't fill. So I needed to feel, you know, better than, um, to make myself feel better. And you found you, right? How do you do it? That's yeah. where the battle is. I, I salute you as a warrior. People may not understand that what we're doing, we think we're trying to just help people by telling them information. No, I have, I can see the fight in you. I have see, I see there is fire. You have burns from hell. I know them. I've got them. Check this scar out. Check out this burn across my back. I know that. I see what that looks like. And so I salute you as a warrior, Danny. I see you. Thank Fighting you versus you, you, well. you versus you. And I think this is something that's important. I still stick to the Epictetus compass. Your circumstances you are in, that is not who you are. But the way you are handling it reveals you to yourself. Did you blame? Mm -hmm. Did you shame? Did you judge? Did you criticize? Did you critique? Did you uh, put all of it on somebody else? Did you run away? Did you get angry? Did you hide? Did you cry? You are showing who you are in your level to yourself. This requires nobody else's mm -hmm. opinion except for your own awareness. But do you practice? Do you pay attention to yourself? And can you be honest enough mm -hmm. with you to be able to go, this is who I really am right now? That's right. People are afraid of that. Do you want to know the biggest fear I've seen from men? Because I work with men. This is the majority of my clientele is all men. I have a huge group of men. Because there's 10,000 women's programs. There's like 17 men's programs. So we'll do the men's side. That's what we do. 
you know all that. these big tough guys i've got navy seals marines professional strongmen cage fighters you fucking name it i got it i got the toughest soldiers and the baddest dudes do you know who the scariest opponent they have is the scariest fight they have toughest dudes it's their feelings it's the one fight they're like i don't want to get in the cage with that and i'm like bro let's heal your heart man this last thing I thought as a tactics and mindset warrior that I would be healing men's hearts. Never thought that would be it. You know, I, I, I love that. I see, I see that it's like, as I'm sitting here listening to you, I could see how we are legitimately so yes. different and yet Correct. so the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, you take people here and I take people here to get back into oneness with within. Correct. This is where I found in my journey high appreciation for other warrior types. You are talking spirit mm. and you are talking heart. Many of the... I want to say I, I, I find high appreciation for you because I am so in my nature so one-minded. It's just how I am. It's just it's just how I roll, right? That that it's like it's like showing... Um, a different set of tools that I could help people with, right? One one that I honestly didn't, didn't give a shit about because when you're all heart and spirit, you're just like take them there and let and let this do the work, right? Which which in many ways feels wonderful to me. But but if but if I were to be honest with you, Rick, Please. as I'm seeing, it's different tactics. But I think that's the greatest part about like awaken is that I am unraveling this and then I lead them to this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, uh, it's a wonderful appreciation. This is why I listen to your answers are correct, but how do we get to the answer? This is where it's uh people are so interested in getting to, let's say you're, you're in Texas. People want to get to, you know, the city. They want to get to, I don't care where it is. I know you're, I know where you're at, but I'll just pick a different one. They want to get to Houston. Let's say that's where they want to go. Okay. So that's where I want to go. The answer is Houston, everybody. I don't care if you're in Brazil. I don't care if you're in Europe. I don't care if you're in Alaska. The answer is Houston. That's the answer. And everyone's like, okay, I want I, that. I know where to go. I know where you're at matters. Where you're at matters. And there are people who require different types of guides, but we're all going to Houston. But it, you got your Alaska guide. You got your Brazil guide. We're going the same place, very different ways. So true. And so there are people who will resonate because they will start with feeling, but I've got guys and they're going to go, they're going to start with mind first. Well, there is still a Houston for both because we're going to meet them in the middle. There is a place where it all works together. And this is where I think there needs to be more authenticity in the world where I say, Danny Murrow, please do not take my bullshit. Challenge it. Does it fucking work, man? Did you actually go across that bridge? I'm like, I've built 200 bridges. I'll build one with you right now. And you're like, you really will build a fucking bridge. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this yeah. is where I honor and salute all warrior types. I have had spirit warriors that I talked to that my energy was fucked for three days after the conversation. There are powerful <laughs> warriors out there. I have talked to Navy SEALs who will challenge you in every physical way you exist I know brilliant minds who will, will unravel every belief system you have and lay them out right like you're doing an episode of Hoarders. Pick and choose. I fall in this category. Let's break it apart. Let's see how this works and then put it together. Is it authentic or is that your mom, your dad's, or your, your ex's bullshit? Together, yeah. though, fuck with us and find out. Because you can't come at us from any direction and have us blindsided. We'll just go, I know I know that. I love watching right. what you do. Right. It's inspiring. I can't wait to be on panel with you one day and just go try and fuck with us. I think that's the I think that's gonna be an incredible day for Yeah, sure. together we are always stronger. I love the things you say. I um there's a couple there's one thing I want to bring up. There's one video you put up, and I would love you to really, because I think people misunderstood this video hard. You said there are three Im like vitally important parts to these relationships. You said the first one is emotional intelligence. And you said the second one was emotional intelligence. And the third one was emotional intelligence. Now, <laughs> I've studied the shit out of this, and I know for a fact, just hearing people say that, 
they made up their own version of emotional intelligence and called themselves <laughs> the good one in the relationship. So I would love you to really break that shit down because even watching it, I saw the people who watched it going, I think I know because I'm the good one. I'm like, that's not emotional intelligence. Please help. Yeah. Help. Well, I think that, you know, just saying I'm the good one is, like you said, that's not emotional intelligence because if you really want to go deep into just that statement alone, there's separation and there's judgment in that, right? So I think that emotional intelligence is awareness, right? It's, it's, it's awareness of what you say, what you think, what you feel. You know, in many ways, my greatest teacher is my ex-wife. My fuck, man. Fuck. Just last night we had a situation. It's like everything is perfect. Every, you know, and I, I, I did what I needed to do for the family, for my boys, you know. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm driving home and, you know, she, she calls me and she does her thing. Right. And I'm like, man, like everything is wonderful. I feel love. And, and, and her thing is, hang on a second. I need to feel, I need to feel that I grab from your energy. Right. And Rick, I know the playbook and my dumb ass. My dumb ass falls right into it, right? Every single time. And I'm like, I just, I've got to realize that there is a part within me that loves to live in Kumbaya. And I think that everybody else on the planet wants to live in Kumbaya. And the reality is, is that not everybody on the planet wants to or needs to live there. And that is perfectly fine, right? And me projecting my need for everybody to live in Kumbaya is actually the one that created the chaos and the door for me to step right into it and be left felt like a complete idiot because I'm always the one that falls for the trap. Not her fault, my fault. My fault. Yeah, but she said that, no, 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 no. That's what the ego always wants to do. The ego always wants to blame somebody else. Uh-uh. It all starts with personal responsibility. The- and I literally walked in the house thinking, I was laughing. I was like, I'm a fucking well, idiot. Well, this with, is, with, this is, well, this well, is what I am. judgment that you are a fucking idiot because you are trained. You're not a fucking <laughs> idiot. You're not dumbass. Like these are the things that the self talk. I'd be careful because people aren't good with this. Their self talk will beat them down into depression. Okay, forgive me. So, so, and I and I want to speak to this. I want to speak to this. Um, if if I am at a place in my journey where I was saying that no, jokingly I, to myself because it has no, you. I'm not attached I to it. You, but you know I know what I'm saying? People who listen may not. Have but I am aware. Story. Yes, may not be there yet. Yes. Yes, understood. You're yeah, absolutely correct. I, I'm yes, just curious. So. What was the actual attack? Now you don't have to go word for word for the sentence, but what was the what was the attack that you know that she trained you to fall for? Was it like you're not good enough? You don't do shit around here. You're, you're useless. Like what is her? Like what was the attack? Was it fear? Was it doubt? Was it excuses? Distractions? You know what it is. Yeah, it's. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to go on record saying this, but it's it's a it's a it's an inability to reason Mm -hmm. and an inability to, to look within for and, 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 and continuously. So, so I I can't believe I'm going to say this. So, so it it, it was a situation where like, you know, obviously nothing that I ever do is enough. You are not enough. It never will be. It never will be. And so here I am, my, one of my, my, my boys is dealing with an issue. And so I work immediately to help solve that issue from yeah. love. Cause I, cause we're fixers. Just yes. want my, boy, my boy to be better. And, you know, she calls saying, I want you to know that you're deflecting. Ah, uh, she is your authority again. I see. Deflecting. Yeah. Yeah. And so even though I know that she gets the high 
off of being that. And instead of staying in my groundedness and just allowing it to pass, because that 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 is what comes when there's nothing to grab at people. Correct. Right. I offered something to grab onto. And then once that that Come. it's like, fuck, it's like zip, she pulls you right in. And that's why I laughingly said. I am an idiot. And, and Rick, if I may, I want to offer just some one other thing because, because it, it, it helped me. And I think this is going to help our men that are listening so much. It also reminded me because if, if you're truly become aware, then you'll start to see where other areas of your life or other situations mirror your same reaction to Correct. this one, right? And I had a situation where where um, it was one of these podcast host, leader, influencer, blah, 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 local here in Austin, introduced me to somebody. Rick, I'll be honest with you. I delegate everybody. I don't even know who introduces me to what. My team handles it. Next thing you know, someone is sitting at my chair to do a podcast. And I'm like, hey, cool. Um you know, happened to be a high profile person. I swear I didn't even know, didn't mention anything about it. Three weeks later, I get a text. You know, part of what the universe requires from, I don't know what the fuck he said, requires from us is to thank the person that, you know, uh, 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 recommends us to other people because if not, we leave some universal loop or hole open. Oh, and I'm like, neat. Okay. Fuck, right. So, so, so watch, so watch. So, and I go, so this dude needed that validation mm -hmm. from me. And if he didn't get it, he created a story and then it comes and then the truth comes out. Listen, this is very careful, man. I want you to hear this, right? Understand I I'm, I'm unaware of what story this human is creating he goes, and I just want to remind you that no one is higher and no one is lower. You're not higher than anybody else. Okay. And that's what it was. So you, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what it was. Aggressive judgment is part of the attack system that is used today. And this is a judgment system that is put on you that I will try to incorporate shame upon you. So that way you comply to what I think you should be doing. This is the tactics of the world today. And so this is very funny because people would think, how do I have to beat this? How do I, the loophole in the universe that I have to fill the gap to thank the person because I'm a bad person for not filling in the universe gap of thank yous to the people. What did I, what did I do wrong? Who, what did I, what did I do? What do I have to do? Simply with this yeah. one, all I would send is a thumbs up. That's it. Or if that, okay. or, or if that, and, 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 and that, and, 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 and then I want to tell you one more thing. And then like to throw the final, the oh, final there's, dagger, there's the more. final, I am not lower than you. Right. <laughs> By the way, this is a hundred percent bullshit just because I have followers or just because like, which I don't even, I'm not, I'm not in that frequency. So sure. I don't really pay attention to it quite frankly. Yeah. Right. And, but, but when you are, then you're trying to like climb this imaginary ladder and anyone up there you need from them to somehow pull it's, it's, it's so, so then, so then he needed to, so then he goes, and by the way, by the way, you know, I hear you offer ayahuasca ceremonies, like, please don't do that. Cause that is very sacred uh, to me. And what else should you not do? What else? What? Allow me to tell you what you can Allow and cannot be. What you can and cannot be. <laughs> I love these. I love these conversations. Love these, love Which it was an assumption because I don't, but it was just. It was very interesting to to see it happen. To see it happen. Mm -hmm. I, I love the authority this person gave I, themselves, regardless of what their followers were. The same exact tactics were employed earlier in the stories by a pastor. Because I am authority, I will tell you what you should and should not do and be. This is That's right. And and what I am just noticing is this. 
when you as men, and Rick, I hate to do this, but I, I have another oh, me too. right now. But Super. when you as men, when you as men step into your power, into your truth, into your love, become aware of the fact that other men and women, you know, will want to grab from that power and will want to take that energy to live from and to fill the void within them and just be aware because um, if you don't, then you will react like I did last night with the ex. And uh, those are funny and wonderful and beautiful moments where you get to reflect Oof. and learn and honestly thank for the lesson. Well, she didn't you. take any power from you. You gave it to her. No. And this yeah, is what she absolutely. trained you to do. Freely. Freely. Happily. Freely. I will give Freely. you, I will give Happily. you all of my madness. You, you, you can, you have <laughs> trained me and I am trained for this. <laughs> And, and, and Rick, and, and this is for all of you men. I, I send you my my love, my strength, my power. It's like I want to go back to what Rick said is that when I walked in here saying I'm a fucking idiot, it's hopefully at someday you can get to a space where that was just an acknowledgement of the fact that I gave it, you know, and uh, and uh, I, I honestly think that's a beautiful place to be where you could see the lesson, you could see where you fell. You can acknowledge it and then just move on and uh, keep let on keeping on. Letting go you know? is a skill. Yeah. Danny Morrell, I know you Thank got to you, go, Rick. brother. Thank you so much. Any place that people need to go to be able to see more of you, where do they need to go? Uh, Instagram, Danny Morrell. Yeah. And then, you know, for the, for the men that are ready to connect to their feelings, come to Awaken. Um, it's, uh, we're, it's, it's an, it's an event that will, It'll, like I said, it's that's what we do. We we just I'll, I'll come and do that. Are we going to be doing more shows together, Danny? I think so. I think we should. Absolutely, would love to have you on mine. I'll come, sure. I'll come down. I'll come hang out. I'll go sit where Caesar Milan sat. I can't wait. That was Sounds insane, good, by man. the way. Thanks, Rick. But good to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Bye, bye. Okay. Click on the button and you can become the hero in your own story. It's time to start making the choices to change. And the evolution that you're going to do begins with choosing the next step. This is the way. And together, we're always stronger.